Hello everybody, Ouija Wee here with the Von Kaiser portion of the tutorial. And much like last Joe, there's a bunch of different ways you can go about beating him quickly. I'm going to show you three different ways to beat Von Kaiser, and I'll call them the beginner strats, the intermediate strats, and the advanced strats. Uh, the beginner strats are only potentially at worst two and a half seconds slower than the fastest advanced strat. So it's not really a big deal uh, to be two seconds off, um, but the beginner strats are a lot easier than the other ones, which include some guard manipulation and some more difficult things going on in them. I wouldn't attempt the intermediate or the advanced strats until you get a good grasp on the timing of this entire fight. So. To start the fight, as you can see, I'm holding up and be on the controller, just like we did with Glass Joe. We're going to punch him in the face once. That's the plan. And then we're going to wait for him to punch us. But we're going to dodge. And then we're going to punch him in the face seven times. And on that seventh punch, or the eighth punch of the fight, we're going to get a star. Now, after we get a star, he's going to retaliate fairly quickly, so get ready to dodge. You're going to punch him in the face one more time, which is going to stun him. And then you're going to use the star to knock him down. Anytime Von Kaiser is stunned and you use a star punch, like this, he goes right to the mat. Now he's going to get up on the count of one, and whenever a fighter gets up on the count of one, that means all you have to do is hit him with the star punch, and then they'll go right back down to the mat. You'll knock him down. Unfortunately, we don't have any stars, so we're going to grab some. The way we do that is... We're going to hold up this time instead of up and B. Now the reason we're doing that is because we want to manipulate his guard up. If you hold up on the D-pad, the fighter thinks you're going to punch him in the face. So they raise their guard. But if you instead punch him in the gut, a lot of the fighters won't be able to react fast enough. And you'll be able to hit them. Now, Von Kaiser's plan when he gets up after you knock him down is he's going to throw two uppercuts. So if you raise his guard and then hit him in the gut twice, you're going to counter both of those uppercuts, which will stop him from throwing them completely. Now the tricky part of this fight is really right here, where you have to hold up as the fight is starting, and then you can't let go of up right when the fight starts. You have to wait just a little bit to raise his guard, and it's a feel thing. It's something you're going to have to practice. Because after you raise his guard, you're going to let go of up and then immediately hit B, and then buffer the next B punch buffer both of those those be those left gut punches together and then after that you buffer start you throw the star now if you're lucky you'll get two stars here like I think I do so I raised his guard I let go of up I hit him twice in the gut and I threw the star and he went down because he got up on the count of one so now we're going into phase three now we got a lucky star in phase two, and that doesn't happen all the time. In fact, it only happens about 50% of the time. It's random. If you do get a lucky star, this is what phase three is going to look like. In phase three, if you get a lucky star, we call it lucky for a reason. It makes phase three easier, and it makes phase three faster. There's only three inputs you're going to do here. Now you can see I'm already holding left. So I'm going to buffer a left dodge, and then I'm going to buffer another left dodge, and then I'm going to buffer a star punch by holding start. And that's it. That'll dodge his uppercut, and hit him with the star, and you win. You get a pretty good time, too. You know, this is probably best case scenario if you use a beginner strats, you get something under 38 seconds. And uh, that's less than two seconds slower than the best possible, you know, luck on the advanced strat. So that's a pretty good time. That's something I would definitely keep. So I'm going to show you the fight one more time, in case you missed anything. And also, I'm going to show you what happens if you don't get a lucky star going into phase three using the beginner strats. So again, we're going to hold up and B to start the fight to punch him once. Wait for him to punch, dodge, hit him seven more times. You'll get a star. Dodge again, punch, and then use the star. And you should get a 22 second knockdown. If you get a 23 or a 24 second, don't freak out, it's fine. You know, you, You'll, you'll get this fight uh, with practice. Raise his guard, let go of up, buffer two B punches, and then buffer start. But now, we don't have a star going into phase three, so what do we do? 
We do the exact same thing we just did in phase two. You hold up, let go, B, B, start. And that's it. That's the whole fight. It's a little bit slower, as you can see. We've got a 38 second on the clock instead of a 37. And again, that's why we call it the Lucky Star, because it makes it a little bit easier and it's faster. But yeah, that's the beginner strats for Bonkaiser. Moving on to the intermediate strats. The only thing difference between the intermediate, uh, advanced, and beginners is phase one, the first knockdown. So what we're going to do right here is going to be a little bit different. Uh, but we're going to start the same. We're going to hold up and B to start. So we already got that down. The real hard part about the intermediate strat is the second punch of the fight. You know how you raise his guard when he gets up after you've knocked him down, and then you let go of up and then hit him in the gut twice with B? That's what we're going to do on the second punch of the fight. Okay, so we're going to hold up and B to start, and we're going to let go of B, and we're going to hold up just a little bit longer to raise his guard. And again, this will take some practice to get the feel for. And then we're going to hit him in the gut twice. So the order of punches in the intermediate is different. You're going to have to learn something new. And it's going to be face punch right here, up and B. Two guts, two face punches, uh, a left gut, a right gut, and a face punch. And I'll show it off right here. Now you'll see there's a little bit of a delay between the first punch and the second punches because I'm holding up on the D-pad to raise his guard before I gutter him twice. Punch, little delay, one, two, two to the face, left, right, face. Now there I, I decided to duck only because I've gotten to know this fight really well. You can duck under that punch if you want because you know when it's coming and it comes pretty quickly. You can potentially save a couple of frames by ducking under a punch. Most people like to dodge it. I don't know. It, it's really up to you whether you want to duck it or not. So you duck it, punch him in the face, and then use the star. And as you can see, we had a 21 on the clock, so it's about a second faster than the last strat. The rest of the fight's going to look exactly the same. I did not get the lucky star that time, though. So phase 3, since I didn't, be exactly like phase 2 and you'll get a 36 on the clock. Should be like a high 36. It's 36 uh, is a pretty good time. It's a really good time for um, not getting a lucky star. So let me see if I can show you phase one one more time without pausing it. And there it is. Okay, so that's the intermediate strats. Now onto the advanced strats. This is the one where you're going to manipulate his guard twice in phase one. And uh, it, it, it's a little bit harder to pull off. Definitely takes more practice to learn, I can guarantee you that. But as you can see, I'm holding up an A this time. And the only reason for that is the second punch of the fight is going to be a right gut punch. So might as well just you know, keep your hand over the A button. Um, so you can hit him in the, in the face to start the fight. And then the tricky part is the second punch of the fight, much like the last one, only the second punch of this fight is different. You're going to manipulate his guard during a punch instead of before a punch, which is going to speed things up a bit. This is why this is a little bit faster. So up in A to start, your next punch is just going to be A, a right gut, but as that second punch is going off, you have to hit the D-pad and hold up on the D-pad. See right there, I'm holding up an A, but I'm punching him in the gut because I didn't hit up until the punch was already going off. And I hit him in the gut. Second, third punch is a left gut, which is, you know, just a buffered B. But the fourth punch, you're going to do the same thing with B. You're going to hit B and then hit up as the punch is going off so that he keeps his guard up and it hits him. See, so yeah, I'm holding up and B there, but it hits him in the gut because I hit up after the punch was already going off. Now it's just three more gut punches and a face punch. One, two, three, face, all buffered. I like to duck under that. And we get a 21 second knockdown. It's only slightly faster than the uh, intermediate uh, strategy. Phase two and three are all the same. However, I do want to show you one thing you can do if you have the Lucky Star. 
I'm sure you may have seen other people do this. If you have a lucky star going into phase three, instead of doing two slow left dodges, one thing you can do to speed it up even more is to do a quick left dodge and then a duck. Like that. And you're going to get a low 36 time if you pull all of that stuff off really well. Yeah, 36 flat. Now the fastest I've seen using this strat is a 35.97. So it doesn't get much better than this. Um, I'd like to show this fight again by slowing it down a bit in certain points. Okay. So we're going to go really slow here. Up and A to face punch. Now you can see I'm buffering A right here. I'm going to wait for the punch to start going off and then I press up. Okay. As long as you don't press up too early, you're not going to accidentally punch him in the face. And boom, oh look, we punched him in the gut. Now if you don't press up there, he's going to block it. If you punch him in the face there by accident, he's going to block it. The only way that punch even hits him is if you press up as that punch is going off. It's a very difficult punch to pull off. So now we're going to buffer B, easy punch. Next punch, we're going to do the manipulating guard thing again. We're going to press B, and as the punch is going off, we're going to press up. So B starts going off, press up, just like that. Hit him in the gut. And then the last four punches of this phase is very easy. It's just three buffer Bs, B, 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 and then a face punch. That's it. Now we get our star, and you can duck under that if you want, or you can dodge it. Oops. And the rest of the fight looks like any other fight, really. Except for the uh, the quick dodge duck at the end. Now, fair warning, the quick dodge duck at the end, if you're too fast, he's going to punch you. <laughs> that's, that's the one problem I have with it. Uh, it's not a perfect buffer right here. Quick dodge small hesitation and then you duck you know that's really what it is another strategy you can do there if you don't like that one is to do a slow dodge small hesitation and then a quick dodge which is the one that I prefer and I didn't get to show that off here but you can mess around with that see which one you're more comfortable with and uh, that's Von Kaiser in a nutshell hope that uh, covers everything and helps you guys out